Hey, this is Naturally TC coming at you with this haircut starter lock video. Um, my client has worn basically like just a fro for, I don't know how long he had that. I didn't even ask him. Probably like a year. It looks like about a year or so. Um, but I, what I did was fade it up the sides and then we started the locks in the top. Um, it actually came out really well and I will have to do a part two video on this because guess what <laughs> I didn't record like the complete end but you will be able to see how I did his starter locks I only use aloe vera like the aloe vera plant when I do my locks and I don't use any gel or anything like that. Now, I did use this other product um, by the company name is Influence. And they have a twist gel. It's not a gel. It's like, it's like really tacky, almost like jam. And ugh, I can't think of the name of it. It's, it's whatever they're twisting. Um, it's not a gel, though. But it, they call it like... I don't know I use it for my braids like when I braid and I put you know how you'll see people put either jam or some kind of product in between the braids to make the hair lay down I use it for that so I had one client come in for a retwist and she said because aloe is a plant so some people could very well have a uh, plant allergy so I guess you want to be conscious of that and she said that her scalp was really itchy but let me tell you her locks i'm not talking about this client right here but her locks are locked like the aloe is a hundred okay but you know it doesn't work for everybody against the scalp so i would say like if your client is irritated by the aloe don't use it continually but that first time, and I don't know, it's pretty worth using because it's so easy. It it doesn't have any buildup. It's just, to me, it's perfect. And it holds the hair, like, not like gel. Because, you know, like, gel will hold it and it'll be hard. But the aloe holds it and it almost just conforms to the hair's natural state. I really, really love it. But, like I said, so she was a little bit irritated by it. Um, it didn't cause like any swelling or breakout or even like redness or anything like that. She said it just itched. So when she came in for the second, um, for her retwist, what I did was use the product by Influence. And um, it, it holds very well too. I didn't, I didn't have a problem with it, but I wouldn't be comfortable using it um, for starting locks. So as you can see, I'm doing comb twists. I'm making his um, partings pretty big because one, he has a lot of hair. Uh, two, he's a young man and, you know, he's still like in high school. And I'm sure his mom <laughs> appreciates me not putting a million dreads on the top of his head because we don't even know how long he's going to roll with this. But it actually came out so well and it it fit him so well so i made the partings pretty large he has a lot of hair so he still had um a lot of locks available to him i'm trying to stop saying dread because apparently there's a negative connotation attached to dread you know all my woke sisters and brothers have been sharing that so um i'll do better with my vocabulary to just use the word lock Yep, so when I do my cone twist with my starter locks, you see, like, you always hold, like, I hold the base. And even when I put my clips in, I'm not necessarily putting them so close to the base. I'm really putting them in a place where it can hold the lock because the aloe holds the hair. So that's not an issue. But you do want to kind of stretch the hair so that they have some length when you're done because you know starting locks is already a, a <laughs> situation or a trial like you know in the beginning they be short or whatever but he has a he has a pretty good length on his hair so you know 
they're nice like these came out so nice i'm gonna have to ask his mom to send me um an update but I am going to have to do a second video. So what I will do is I'll post um, when he comes in to get his retwist. So I can get you the full picture of the completed um, work. Because I really did not record this. It's, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I think I cannot tell y'all what happened. Why I didn't record the end of this video. But yeah. So... Yep, just comb twisted. You see how I'm applying the aloe, and like once you when you split the leaf, like all that gel will come out anyway. But once I, you know, there's not that much left. You see how I just rub the leaf on his hair. That works too. And then you comb it through, and then you begin to do your twist. And then sometimes I'll even palm roll it. I don't. I haven't seen me do it that much on this video. But sometime I'll like, you know, if it's still like looser than I like it, I'll just palm roll it and get it to stay. So yeah, y'all know how I do. I'm not going to talk you through this whole video. But if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Naturally TC. I am here for you, trying to bring you guys more videos that you can watch and and try this stuff at home it works the aloe works like it's like aloe is my friend and i did talk about me developing my own product it's just that i love the aloe so much the only thing i could think to do is package the aloe but i would have to find a way to make sure that the shelf life um <clears throat> is adequate um you know so you could keep it and it doesn't go old because it's a natural product you might have to keep it in a refrigerator i'm not sure maybe that was too much information anyway i love you all thank you for following me i i i don't take every view i don't take it for granted you know i know you guys don't, there's plenty of other people that you could be watching out here but uh yeah you hanging with me naturally tc you guys have a good one be blessed